I know when it comes to kids, kids' education, just like many other choices, it's not a question about where what parents want their kids to do. In fact, it's not even a question of what kids want to do. We often we might just go what is trending, what your friends are doing, what peer pressure is, or what is the but girls and most amount of money or whatever. But I think it's really important to find out what is the inherent latent talent of a child. And a good proportion of them, anything from 3 to 10% of the population, are extremely creative. They have certain traits of personality which you can talk about the kid doing right from a very young age. And I think it's not just going by the regular, uh, 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 let's say, a BSc or a BA or engineering or medicine. I think Indian parents should actually encourage their kids to through take psychometric tests, take entrance exams, at least to figure out where the latent talents lay. And if they do that, and, it, and, it, and the results come out that you need to do something creative as interior design or architecture or fashion or anything or filmmaking, whatever it is, I think parents should stand by them. I understand if, if, if parents are struggling to make a living, they would rather their kids take up engineering and become a software engineer, I get that. But if, if, by God's grace, you guys are in a reasonable position as far as financial is concerned, Okay, you can go out on a limb because as far as kid is concerned, believe me, they make a very good living as designers and architects. It's of course there's glitz and gabba, but there's also money, there's also fame. But more importantly, the kid gets to do what his heart, what is called interest, lies in. And interest is almost always connected to what your innate talents are. I think therefore parents owe it to the kids. It's not imposing your ambitions on a kid. In fact, it's not even about imposing, as I said, the kid's ambition or his friends or her friends' ambition on him on, on his future. Because those friends will change. But your talents are there. you will be there for the rest of your life. So I think it makes sense to find out those talents to guys listen. Listen, not just to kids talking. Listen to what their talents are telling you. And a good parent will really know that. You don't impose what you think ought to be the right thing. But rather find out how, what God has gifted him or her with. Believe me, it's, it's, you don't want somebody doing something they don't like or do not have talent for 40 years of their remaining lives. You want them to do something they love doing. And because I, my way I tell is, if your heart is in it, your head will follow and so will your heart, hands.